Hey there, Gemini. It's Angie from Feisty Butterfly Tarot. And today we are going to do a reading for you for the beginning of August. We're using the Rider Weight Universal and the Radiant. So same deck, two different decks, same kind. One of them's a little bit more colorized. And um, I thought we'd try something a little bit interesting with it. Since this is more faded and gentler and softer color scheme, and this is more bold, I thought we'd try an interesting thing for you. So we're going to start with this and see what's going on. We're just going to be at the basics right here for you. So that's you in the current situation. This is what's coming in. This is the bold advice for right now. And this is definitely be aware of. So, all right, we're going to start here. Who? All right. Okay, so right now, dead center, you are at the end of a cycle. Something else is changing. You have the Ten of Swords where this mental anguish has ended and the hope of a new day. If you look, you see the sunlight. And that's something that people often overlook with this card. They see, uh, gory, ending, over with. But since it's absolutely over, whatever that is, there's this new time frame, a new day. The sunrise is coming up. It's not just complete black night. So the dark night of the soul is over. The time to get up and do the new lesson has come. Judgment is calling to rise up and get up and move forward. And this is making judgments where you evaluate your own self, where if there's a higher call to you right now or something calling to your spirit to do, it's time to pursue that. It's time to go to the next stage. The next thing out is the King of Wands. And this is somebody who's very fiery, very charming and charismatic. Um, somebody that's easy to adore and admire, but not always easy to get close to. So you might have this fieriness about you. You might be setting things in order and establishing things and creating structure, all of that kind of good stuff. However, you still need to be able to nurture emotional things, emotional connections and cultivate that. So don't let the fire and the passion and the driven ambition overwhelm things. So this is what's going on in the in the faded now. So, and faded as in color, faded, not fated, but faded in the now. That's kind of, okay, the lighter shades. So this is something that's coming up, coming towards you. The fool, again, the judgment cycle. And look, you're closing out here and here. So definitely this is time where Something coming up new is happening for you. Ooh, okay, now in the brighter color scheme, on the brighter side, on the lighter side, you have the Three of Pentacles and the Empress. Three and three. Very, very mirrored reflective for a Gemini that needs twins. It's good symmetry, yeah? Yeah. So, okay, this is all about fertility, growth, um, a, a period of time like a pregnancy, a period of time where expansion is happening, where you are growing and for a time very, very fruitful. Everything around you is growing. So answer this call. Things are going to be growing. The King of Wands is fiery ambition. It's definitely the time to do that, but be grounded as well. This is a time where teamwork is important. You have three people. You have the patron, maybe the one instructing, and also the one doing the task. So you have the planner, the doer, and the person that's um, maybe organizing and keeping it all together, getting it handled. So allow for there to be input from various sources. Take that, utilize it together for your own growth, for your own new cycle that you're in, okay? Also, you have the High Priestess. She's in reverse and she's right here. Maybe don't rely so much on what you think you know. Rely on what you actually know. Get quiet, get still, and that's going to be so tricky for you right now. So tricky. But right now, get some stillness. Go into that deeper part of yourself where there's that intuitive knowing, where you have this strength and unity on both sides. You have masculine and feminine energies. You have all of this knowing. You need to get calm enough to hear the own whispers of your own heart, those intuitive leanings, the things that call you and you kind of poo-poo, ignore, not right now, not right now, I'm too busy. No, you need to sit still a minute, calm down a minute, that way you can move forward. 
Okay, we're going to look a little bit deeper on what to look for on the bright side. And then we might look. You know what? Let's look here first. We're going to look in the faded one and see what maybe you can mellow out on. Maybe to pull back on or a lesson on what needs to go a little easier. Maybe do less of. Oh, tower moment. Okay. Tower. The bolt out of the blue that throws everything into chaos. The unexpected bammo. Okay. So if you're having tower moments, feeling overwhelmed, overloaded, like everything's falling to pieces and falling apart, maybe you can do less worrying on that. Maybe you can realize that it's okay to build something new. Something has definitely ended, shifted. Something new is starting. So maybe it's time to let this bolt from the blue and this disruption to what you expected, maybe it's time to get okay with that. All right, and then on the bright side, or the do more of, or do more intensely, okay? We're gonna look at some of this and see what you think on here. Whoa, not taking those yet, too slippery. Let's see, that I might take, oh gosh. Okay, definitely. So this is reminding you again, I mean, it doesn't get more clear than that, does it? This tower moment you need to let fade. This is brightly and rightly reassigning this to you. Be aware, there's still gonna be chaos. Your world is turned upside down a bit. It's gonna feel like things are blowing up all around you. Be okay with that, be calm with that. Allow some healing. Allow some of your intuition through again. Get some time where you can rest and recoup, renew, restore, all of that. Take some time to rest. Get in nature if you can. Um, take some time for stillness. When you come to the star after a tower moment or after death or ending or whatever it is, you're going to those waters to renew your spirit, to renew your soul. That's why you're there in the first place. There's all this star, there's this inner light, this hope, and also a balancing. And there's enough of the spirit, enough of the spiritual energy to be poured back into the earth and also to renew. So where temperance is usually flow back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you need to get enough of that spirit coming in and get clarity from that and that inner light that you're able to put it out towards those around you, towards your earthly needs and situation. So this tower happening around you, it probably does feel like things are a little bit out of whack. And they probably are honestly, but hey, you have these two, the star and the empress. This is a time for hope, the wish fulfilled, the psychic, the intuitive, time to get in with your feminine energy so you can grow. Judgment is answering that call that your heart's saying, go for it, new section, new section starting, let the old section end, pay attention to your inner knowing. I think that's probably all I've got for you right now. I hope it's helpful, Gemini. Take care. Good luck this beginning part of August, and I'll see you again. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.